Hi, this is Peter Gianetti, Editor-in-Chief of Homeworld Business Magazine. I'm with Dorothy Belshaw, Show Director of the New York International Gift Fair and Senior Vice President of GLM, a DMG World Media business. Dorothy, we're getting ready for the forthcoming Summer Gift Fair, August 15th through 20th at the Javits Center in New York City. Tell us a little bit about how that's progressing right now. Well, it's pro progressing pretty well, Peter. Um, it's no mystery that we are in the middle of a, of a soft economy. Uh, some would call it a recession. And that obviously has had an impact on retailers across the country, both small and large. The beauty of the gift industry, however, is because it is cross-category and a very broad offering of product, it is able to ebb and flow with softness in the marketplace. For example, if there are categories that are harder hit in times of recession, we are able to reduce their square footage and increase the square footage of categories that are thriving and where there tends to be increased pressure. So the show is a natural microcosm of what happens at retail, and as such, it's, it's really very flexible. So we are heading into the August event feeling um, cautiously optimistic about our results. We will be positioned and full in both the Jacob Javits Convention Center with our primary resource um, and also at Pier 94 with our hard lines for home furnishings in our at-home division. Uh, the show spans nine different divisions, chief among them being our tabletop and housewares division. Yeah, in the, in the last several years, you have expanded the tabletop and housewares division. Tell us why that has made sense for the gift fair and for the retailers that are uh, attending this show. Well, tabletop and the, the entire home entertaining category has always been central to the success of the gift market. In recent years, as families have turned more to the home and specifically to the kitchen um, as an entertaining venue, tabletop and housewares has become a growing and more important category for us in the industry. We have also seen increased numbers of specialty gourmet stores and specialty tabletop stores carrying both tabletop serveware and also some high-end housewares products increasing uh, in numbers at the fair and we have sought to increase the resource that we present to them. Uh, similarly, there are a lot of cross-category lifestyle merchants that are looking to add tabletop to their mix and the increase in the size of the division has enabled us to also satisfy their needs. Dorothy, give us a sense of what the entire composition of this show is. The show is very large. It features 2,900 participating companies and several hundred thousand lines across nine product categories which are carefully edited so that buyers seeking to focus on certain categories can easily do so. Uh, those categories range from gift products, home accessories, home textiles, personal care, stationery, uh, children's products, obviously tabletop and housewares. Then we also have several categories that are not specific to any one product but cover specific aesthetics. Uh, we feature Accent on Design, which is a cross-category division devoted to design-led merchandise, contemporary merchandise, and also Handmade, one of our larger divisions, which features handcrafted and artisanal merchandise across all categories. Um, in all, we anticipate having close to 400 entirely new companies join the fair, uh, new to the fair, this August. Um, so our total presentation is, is over 500,000 net square feet across both venues. And approximately how many retail buyers do you get? Roughly 30,000 retail buyers. And how, how is that broken down uh, by type of retailer or, or domestic versus international? Um, it is primarily domestic. We drive about 10% uh, of our audience is international. And it is also uh, primarily regional, as most gift shows are. We do pull from all 50 states. Um, but a very high percentage of our audience comes from the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic and obviously from the tri-state area. We do pull from close to 40 international countries, including Europe, Asia, Southeast Asia, Central and South America. Uh, Canada, obviously, is, is, a, is a very well-represented um, country at the gift fair. Um, so it, it is a very broad-ranging and far-reaching mix of retailers from mass merchants to specialty retailers to catalogs and to online e-tailers with obviously the independent specialty store being being our core audience. Have you been able to find synergies between the New York International Gift Fair and the Gourmet Housewares show as you've kind of put together a strategy going forward? 
Well, absolutely. Our long-standing history in owning and operating the Gourmet Housewares Show has established strong relationships for us within that niche market, and we were able to rely on those relationships to help grow um, our presence within the gift markets. The two shows have always complemented each other well in terms of venue and timing, and now with the Gourmet Show presented uh, in San Francisco again, again, we have that complementary um, resource positioning coast to coast. And in times like these, when most retailers are unable to travel long distances for purchasing reasons, it is especially advantageous to them to have a gourmet and housewares resource in San Francisco alongside a broad-based gift show and also one within the New York International Gift Fair here on the East Coast.